I am uh, Rafael Mariano Grossi, Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency. What brings you to the World Food Forum today? Well, uh, the International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, by its acronym, has been working with FAO for more than 60 years. We are the only international organizations in the UN system that have a joint um, operation, mm -hmm. a joint center, we yeah. call it, but it's a joint operation where basically uh, FAO experts and IAEA experts work together to use nuclear techniques and applications mm -hmm. to solve very specific problems that are related to food in different ways. Absolutely. Now the FAO IAEA partnership has significantly advanced nuclear techniques in food and agriculture especially, like you said. Looking ahead, how do you envision nuclear science contributing further to agri-food system transformation, particularly climate resilience and food security? I indeed. Uh, in the current circumstances with the global warming, climate change conditions, problems also related to food security all over the world, what we are trying to do is to look at different areas and see how specifically nuclear techniques can apply. For example, by developing drought-resistant crops, by using um, isotopic hydrology, which is a nuclear technique, to look at the water, how much water we need, um, for sound agriculture, um, to look at the soil, the soil composition, how much fertilizer do we need, do we need fertilizer at all, by using, for example, um, uh, sterile insect techniques to deal with um, certain problems brought pests, brought by insects, by mosquitoes, by flies that attack humans and, and uh, as well as crops and cultures. So all of these ways are ways in which we are projecting our work for the future. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, now with the launch of the At Atoms for Food initiative, how can nuclear technologies be leveraged to directly benefit small-scale producers and vulnerable populations, ensuring that innovations in this field are inclusive and content -specific? Atoms for Food is precisely uh, a, a project or a series of initiatives that are looking at specific problems in certain areas. These are not, I would say, uh, overall policy presentations. They are instruments to deal with a problem. For example, you have a problem with, with an insect in an area. You have a problem with a fruit or a crop which is dying or is attacked uh, in a certain sense. Or do you have a zoonosis that is emerging and could, could pass from animals to humans? So how we deal with those. And for that, we work with our member states both organizations so that we can take this input coming straight from communities, from farmers. So we go out in the field, apply these techniques and try to solve these problems. Absolutely. Um, and as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the joint FAO IEA Center, what do you see as the key areas of focus for the next decade to come to ensure the partnership remains at the forefront of science and technology? Well, we are, I think FAO, but especially IAEA, we are a technology-driven organization. We are, for example, when your question aims into the future, we are incorporating to our traditional nuclear techniques and applications, digital instruments, um, artificial intelligence, uh, all these instruments allow us to be more effective with, with at less cost, with less um, effort uh, in a wider sense. So by the um, introduction of, uh, um, I would say, um, technology, uh, state-of-the-art uh, instruments that we have in the digital world, we are trying to be more effective. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your work and insights with us here today. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.